Yeah. Okay. And I'm telling you that if you get to the key before me, I'm going to let you drive my police car around the block. Okay. That's how confident I am in the fact that I'm going to beat you, okay? okay? But you can't move your hand until I move my hand. Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Nope. Okay. What the so hell? Why did I get... Why did I get to the key first? Because I trusted you. No, it wasn't the fact that you trusted me. It was the fact that action always beats reaction. So that's right. why police officers have to make moves first. Because if the person that they're encountering makes a move first, then there's a big problem. So police officers would typically like to point a gun at somebody that they think is a threat. Instead of them having to move their love handle out of the way and drop their safety right. and... Pull, then pull a gun out and be behind the eight ball. Just like you were right here. You thought you had an advantage. Yeah. Well, if I think I have an advantage at work, I get in trouble. So that's the kind of stuff that we teach kids. Not that we're going to shoot anybody or that we're going to mean bad, but if there's a perception of a threat, that's oftentimes the way that we do things is in explaining it. And then the kids say, oh, that okay. Makes sense. Of course. That makes Absolutely. sense, right? It's yeah, just like getting totally. into a traffic accident, right? Yeah. The reason yeah. you're in a traffic accident isn't because you you don't see it. It's because once you see it, you have to tell your brain to process it. That processing takes three quarters of a second for the trained brain. Then it takes three quarters of a second for my brain to tell my body limbs what to do. So that's one and a half seconds behind the ball if we're both seeing the same thing and you're making the action and I have to react. Make sense? Absolutely. Yeah, so that's the type of stuff that we use.